what I really would love to do, and I think this would be the most value to my, to my listeners and people that are checking this out, is to understand not how to win a trial, although that's really cool stuff and, and how to you know prepare a witness and all that. It's, it's for networking, it's for business development, and it's trying to understand how do you read someone that you're networking with, for example, to understand maybe either how they're built or are they someone that's a good person or someone that is a good communicator that is going to be a good referral source. And is there, are there one or two things that you look for in, 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 in networking and in, 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 in the lawyer that's trying to build business that would be helpful to them and in, in maybe shortcutting the time they might spend with someone because they're able to read an expression or read a situation better? 95% of our business coming from referrals. And the first thing I look when I talk to someone and I, I hear Nina, I have done, I have Sammy all, uh, I've been following and JJ, JJ, our yeah, man. These on, are, these are past podcast. podcast guests, FYI. So if you haven't heard those people, I would uh, highly advise you to go there because they have, they have really good advice on that. But if I need to have three calls with a client to explain what I do, it's not my client. One of the things that people do not understand is you need to hire friends. You, you need to hire friends and fire them. You need to hire and fire employees and you need to hire and fire clients. If I need to have more than three calls to explain you what I do, and you are reluctant to hire me because you don't believe or you don't understand the sign that is been below for 5,000 years. And by the way, since 1953, the, the, the federal court decided that if your face is out there, I can read it and I can do anything that I want with that information. And if you don't understand that and you think that what I do is like tarot uh, or witchcraft, it's not going to work. What we need to understand is if you have a client that you need to spend more time convincing that client that what you do is worth it, is the client is the one is not worth it. So what we need to understand is like everybody have a gift. My gift is uh, my gift is not to go inside the people's head. My gift is to understand that if every everything that is going on is not working, I need to let it go. I need to fire my clients too. And I've been coaching lawyers. And when I make them to understand that if that client is not for you, let it go. Because all the time that you spend in, in that client, you can spend in another case or another clients that are going to help you. Yeah, I mean, an example that I would that I would give that I teach my clients is I, I disc test all of them. Disc is the universal language of behavior. I've been a distributor for 20 years, and I know there's a lot of different ways to read behavior, and you do a lot with facial recognition, things like that. But for disc, it it comes down to four main or strong behavior styles: dominance, influence, influencer, steadiness, and compliance. And one thing I try to teach people is a know yourself, like just test them and know who you are and how you like to be communicated and how you're coming across. And then let's say you're talking to someone at a networking event or it's a prospective client. If you're able to figure out that they're a particular type of profile, okay, quickly, you, I know you do 90 seconds. Maybe I'm talking for my clients, five minutes of, of listening to someone talk in a conversation and they can put them on this person's a dominant or this person's a compliant you can then alter your communication style or alter how you do, how you speak with them, the questions you ask in order to engage them in a more in, 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 um, engaging conversation, if you will. And that's just an example, one example of, of behavior and, and, and how I'm using it in business development and helping my clients to read the person or read the room better. 